In this video, we're going to be talking about how to enroll a customer in the FES Protection Plan membership program. And uh, this is the website uh, for the protection plan. You can see all of the services that are included uh, in this plan, uh, minus the life insurance when we're talking about a customer only. Customers do not receive uh, the life insurance, but they receive all of the other uh, products uh, and uh, uh, membership savings programs that are in this package. So what you're going to do is on your myfes.net forward slash username website, you should have received an email with that information, your agent website and your agent ID number along with all of the contact information uh, for customer support in the corporate office. So again, you want to go to your myfes.net forward slash username website. When you're on that site, you're going to come to the product tab. Now, on the product tab, you're going to see all of the products that we sell a la carte. Some are included in the protection plan uh, and some are not. Uh, but today on this video, we're going to focus specifically on the FES protection plan membership. Because again, that's our core product. 99% uh, of the people that buy a product from us, that is the product that they purchase. And it is the product that has the credit restoration and all of the credit uh, related um, tools uh, in that package along with the uh, financial uh, budgeting tools as well as the protections and again the membership savings program. So what you're going to do is come to this enroll now tab and that'll bring up the electronic application um, for uh, your enrollment. And one thing you want to make sure of is that your name and your agent ID number is at the bottom of that page. So make sure you're at the right, right site so that when you put the information in, obviously you get credit for that. So now when you're talking to a client, if they're sitting in front of you, obviously you can have them fill out this form um, on their own on your computer. Um, if not, uh, in many cases, you may be talking to somebody on the phone that was referred to you and maybe they looked at some information, they're, uh, they're ready to get started now. So what you want to do when you look at the application, the first information it asks for is their social security number and their date of birth. You don't want to start the conversation by asking them for that information. The best thing to do is start at their name, get the legal spelling of their name, their address, city, state, zip, email address, make sure that you verify the best number to be to reach them at and then you can come back and ask them for their social security number and date of birth by that point they're comfortable with giving you information um, once you've got section one completed you want to come down to section two and you see it's got the paid amount 188 one time setup fee of 99 dollars plus the monthly fee of 89 and i always read that to the client um, you can select the card type visa mastercard discover or american express uh, fill out the information, get the card uh, numbers from them, the expiration uh, date, the three-digit code on the back of the card. And then one thing you want to do is you want to verify that the billing address and the name on the card is indeed the same information that they gave you in Section 1 of the application. If not, just get the correct information from them. Then you want to come down, check these two boxes here, and again, make sure that your information is here and simply hit the Submit button. Now the client will receive an email showing that they've been enrolled in the program. You want to tell them to look out for that. It'll have some uh, instructions for them as well, and I always uh, tell the clients to archive that for their records. So pretty simple, uh, but that's how you um, enroll a customer in our FES Protection Plan membership.